guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here and if you're new here hello my name is Ashley I run things here at Oak Crow Gal and today we're cleaning out my closet well technically <laughs> technically not my, my kitchen closet aka the pantry okay um, I recently posted a freezer clean out video um, and a lot of people seem to like it and seem to want more of that kind of content like I even had people commenting on other videos saying that they really liked the freezer clean out video so today we're cleaning out the pantry I have been meaning to do it for a while and I have ac I actually needed to do it have been needing to do it more so than the freezer the freezer was like a stepping stone leading up to this because I just feel like this is an absolute disaster zone um and today my mother-in-law has Daisy and I am like not messing around like Cernan's at went into the office today for a little bit and Daisy's with my mother-in-law and I'm well aware like I can clean my home with my kid but it's so much easier when she's not here um so I'm just taking advantage of my time uh y'all know I love to talk so if you don't want to listen to me talk there will be a time stamp below where you can forward to me actually like jumping in on the cleaning um, but the pantry cleanout is going to be a little bit more different than the freezer cleanout um, because I'm not gonna be like in the freezer it was easier to just kind of like throw away things um, that weren't keto or things that had like freezer burn on it obviously I would throw that away but for the pantry you know it's a lot of like there's, there are a lot of like canned goods, there are a lot of condiments in there, a lot of jarred things that, um, you know, most of which will not be expired. And um, it's nothing tempting. You know, I do that when I first start keto, I get rid of anything that could lead me to um, not being in ketosis, throw, throw me off of my diet. But I, we don't have, we've been doing keto for so long, like I don't have chips or, you know, anything like that that I'm going to be purging. Um, so it's essentially just going to be like if there are things in there that I think in the future I may, I might use. Um, I'm going to hang on to those. Obviously, if something's expired, I'm going to throw it away. And if there is like a full jar or can, et cetera, of something that I don't want anymore, I'm going to set that aside and see if my sister or my mom wants it. Um, so that's kind of my plan for today. I did purchase... Um, I did purchase these from Walmart. Um, they're like pantry organizers. I had thought about getting like bins and stuff for everything, um, like clear bins, you know, the type that you would put like in your fridge. Um, I have bins in there right now, and I think that that's one of the things that's making driving me crazy is they're like black bins, so you can't really see what's in them. Uh, so I just decided to like ditch the whole bin idea and I also also because I feel like I need more space and this really obviously looking at the picture gives you a lot more space so um, once I'm done clearing everything out and purging everything then I will decide where those are gonna go in the pantry so um, let's just go ahead and get started I'm going to similarly to the freezer clean out which I will link below uh, I'm going to pull everything out first. Everything is going to come out of that pantry and um, then we're just going to go through things one by one. Um, so I will show you the before because I just feel like it's a hot mess and you know hot messes should be appreciated from time to time especially if you go and turn it around and get it cleaned up. Um, so I will show you that and then we'll go ahead and jump into it. All right y'all so here is the before. Part of me was going to kind of tidy it up a little bit to make it look a little more presentable. And then I thought, nope, this is real life. This is my pantry. It probably doesn't look that bad to y'all, but to me it just looks like stuff, shit is just like shoved in here. Um, like I said, we have a lot of keto friendly stuff in here. We got some swerve, we got some coconut flour. Um, we got some of my favorite mayo down there. Oh no, actually that's the special sauce. Um, down there we have like all of our keto snacks right here. But like this drives me insane. It's mainly also the baking stuff. So as much as this is a keto clean out, it's also just kind of like a get organized. Um, let me just, I'm gonna go through like each shelf um, just to kind of like break down my like original thought process of putting stuff in this pantry. So all of my baking stuff is supposed to be up here, but somehow 
it like morphed and now I have two shelves of baking stuff. Uh, also a Lego, <laughs> Lego kit, Lego set. Um, I see some cups, I see some napkins, like this, I am so type A that like this has been driving me insane, insane. Um, then on this shelf, this is like all of my spices, most of my condiments, oils, that type of thing. We have our keto snacks, and then um, down here is like pasta, rice, breadcrumbs, some more oil that needs to be with the other oil, um, other condiments, some tequila. <laughs> I feel like this looks like a like a single woman, like or like a bachelor's pantry. And then this is just all like mainly dog stuff, like dog treats, bones, food, trash bags, and then my air fryer is tucked back there. So. That's that. Let's just start pulling stuff out and like getting down to the nitty gritty. Everything is out of the pantry. I also went through and wiped down every um, shelf. N not a deep cleaner or anything. Literally just took a damp rag, wiped down every shelf, and then I did organize like the dog stuff at the bottom. Um, but now it's time to get serious. All right, so I guess we just jump in. And <laughs> this is a lot more overwhelming than I thought it was gonna be. But let's just jump in and start Pulling. All right, first up we have, what is this? White balsamic vinegar. First we're gonna see if it's, oh no. Best by February 21st, 2018. So that's going to go in the trash. Um, next we have an unopened, this is a Trader Joe's soy sauce. Daisy loves soy sauce, so I'm gonna keep it. It's also not horrible carb-wise. Two carbs for a tablespoon. Like if you're really needing uh, some soy sauce, then I don't think that that's horrible. Definitely gonna be keeping this avocado oil. And this olive oil, yeah, 2220. And this I like just recently bought, November 2019. So I'm gonna keep both of those. I wish I didn't have to keep like reaching over. I wish I could just like leave this stuff right here, but this entire section is just covered um, in stuff, so I have no room. This is an unopened Caesar dressing. Um, definitely gonna keep that. Carbs are great on that. What is this? Balsamic vinegar. I feel like I've had this forever though. Uh, is there an expiration on it? There's no expiration on this, but I'm gonna trash it because I feel like I've had it for a long time. Um, this is sherry, which I used to use a lot in cooking recipes. Um, I've had it, again, for a long time, but I feel like, ew, but there's stuff floating in it. <laughs> I was gonna say, I feel like you can keep sherry for a long time because it's an alcohol, but there's no expiration and there's stuff floating in it and I haven't used it in a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, get rid of that. I'm trying to clear out this little area so I don't have to keep like reaching over. What is this? Um, this is white vinegar. Um, I'm gonna get rid of it. Oh, 12, 14, 20. Okay, well, we'll, we'll keep that, that's fine. I, I don't use it frequently, but we'll go ahead and keep it. We have like a little tiny bit of tequila. I'm not gonna get rid of that. No way, Jose, we're keeping that. Um, all right, now we just have, we have napkins, which I'm keeping, but I am not sure. I'll figure out later if they're gonna go in the pantry or not. Okay, this is, my mom had given me this for Daisy. Actually, the carbs aren't bad on this either. Um, there was a time there when, oh shit, but it's expired. Oh no, wait, it says born on 7-2018. So I guess it's still good. Um, all right, well, I think I'll keep this. Would you like if I finished a thought? I'm like always starting sentences and not finishing. So this is a 
chocolate plant-based protein and there was a stretch there where Daisy was eating like no protein like she wanted nothing to do with meat even if it was like a chicken nugget or like a fish stick she was not getting enough protein so my mom had given me this to put in her smoothies because that was one thing she was eating um, and the carbs on this are not horrible for one scoop which is the serving size it's five carbs but two fiber um, so three net carbs so I could all, I don't know what I would use this for but I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to it I I thought about just giving it back to my mom but I'm gonna hang on to that um, all right next we have two bags of farro this one's expired and this one's expired so that is trash I need to start start like a trash bag also FYI we do um, we do recycle so anything that's like recyclable it's glass or um, plastic and if I can get it open because like the uh, bottle of sherry I couldn't get open so I just had to put it in the trash bag because you can't put like full items in the recycling um, but anything I can get open and empty is gonna go in our recycling all right next we have swerve I'm keeping that um, for those of you that don't know this is like the well I think it's the best keto um, sweetener so we're gonna keep that we have some baking cocoa two carbs two fiber I'm gonna go ahead and keep this um, I feel like most of the baking stuff like I don't use that often currently I feel like I'm probably gonna use more in the future because I'm really starting to experiment with more like keto recipes baking recipes doing breads and stuff like that um, but y'all know how baking stuff goes it kind of just like sits in your pantry anyway and then when you need it you're really glad you have it um, baking soda what I can't see the expiration date but I'm gonna keep it keep that this is just Hershey's cocoa 1 2019 so that's expired um, all right next we have some baking powder this is like new I think yeah 2020 I'm gonna keep that I don't even know like okay this I'm getting rid of because this has been so this was really cool my mom had found this at big lots and it's black bean fettuccine so um literally if you see the ingredients the only ingredient it's gonna focus yeah the only ingredient is um, non-gmo organic black beans and um, this was really cool for Daisy she actually enjoyed it but I just feel like it's been in my pantry a long time it's not expired but it's been like open and I'm gonna junk it um, then we have tahini this is completely sealed I probably have no use for this but I'm not going to junk it it's seven carbs two fiber so it could be keto friendly if I needed it to be um, pineapple chunks is there a corn syrup in here yeah there's sugar so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put this aside for like my mom or my sister I if there wasn't added sugar I would save it for Daisy but I'm not I'm not gonna do that we have Kalamata olives I'm definitely keeping those two carb one fiber so that's good um, all right so this was the thing I thought it was the mayo but I forgot that my mom had bought me the Sir Kensington special sauce um, if you guys watch my grocery hauls you know I really like the Sir Kensington's chipotle mayo and the sriracha mayo is so good and I've never tried the special sauce but the macros on it it's one carb per serving um, so you know it's supposed to be like kind of like the Thousand Island like sauce you know at like I don't know in and out or wherever you get burgers it's supposed to be like that special sauce so I'm really excited to try it it's not even open so obviously keeping that is this still good no this is Israeli couscous I was gonna keep this for Daisy because she's a carb girl but it's expired I'd rather not feed my child expired food so I'm getting rid of this I don't even yeah this ha isn't expired yet but maybe I'll set it aside for yeah I'll set this aside for my mom or my sister it's just the Trader Joe's blue agave sweetener I don't even know why I originally bought this Ugh, my camera is not gonna want to focus I don't know why I originally bought this I'm sure it was for like a recipe or something but it's just straight up sugar and I have no need for it I'm gonna keep this honey um, sometimes Daisy likes to have peanut butter toast with honey on it so I'm gonna keep that oh this avocado oil is so old yeah March 2018 bye I'm gonna keep this canola oil never know when you'll need it for a recipe relish we're gonna go ahead and keep as long as it's not expired my assumption would be that it's not yeah 2022 so we'll keep that mandarin oranges yeah there's sugar in these two I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside for my mom or my sister 
Um, this is the tomato, tomato basil marinara from Trader Joe's. It's not the best like keto marinara I've found. It's 11 carbs and three fiber, um, but it's still really good and it'll work like in a pinch. Um, but again, macro wise, it's not my favorite. Um, oh, this one is just pineapple and pineapple juice. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this for Daisy. Um, it's pineapple slices, I'll hang on to that. We have some salt. We have some iguana deuces, hot sauce. Uh, for Christmas, my sister, uh, one of the gifts she got Cernan and I was like a big like basket from World Market. I don't know if you guys know World Market, but I love that store. I've mentioned them before in videos. A huge basket of just like, like fun like condiment stuff, like spreadable cheese and olives and hot sauce and meats and everything so that's where a lot of these like little jars and stuff come from tomato sauce we're gonna hang on to that um artichoke hearts I'm gonna keep another thing of olives these ones are olives french style Ooh, so there's cornichons in here yum i'm gonna keep that um olive oil cooking spray i will keep roasted red peppers eh. i'm gonna pass this I don't, I don't know what I would use this in. Um, it's three carbs per serving, which like, it's not terrible, but I just don't think I have any use for it. So I'm gonna pass that on. Um, this is some black fig fruit spread. Oh, this would be perfect with cheese, but the carbs are out of control. Um, but I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it nonetheless. You never know if you like have people over and we are like, well, Especially before keto, we were like super into cheese boards. I mean, a cheese board like charcuterie is great to have on keto, but I also like it with like bread and crackers and the fig jam and the honey and that type of thing. So we haven't had one in a while, but I'm gonna hang on to that. Um, this is the, yeah, so this is the zero calorie sweetener with stevia leaf extract. It's the tar Market Pantry, so it's the Target brand. Um, and it's just erythritol, stevia leaf extract, natural flavor. So these are packets. We use this in coffee. It's not my favorite. I'm going to keep it, um, but it's like crazy sweet. I mean, erythritol is sweeter than sugar, but this is like, whoa, like next level. Um, nutritional yeast. I never use this. Um, I'm going to pass it on. I just don't use it. Not expired, but not, not getting use. We have some more napkins, some more cups those on the floor. I'm going to keep those, but again, I don't know where exactly those are going to go. We have some breadcrumbs, panko breadcrumbs. Um, I'm going to keep this like it's they're breadcrumbs. So like, obviously they're not that keto friendly, but when you're only using like some recipes that keto recipes I've done with breadcrumbs, it's like two tablespoons mixed in with like Parmesan cheese. And the nutrition facts on here are for half of a cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep them um, because when you're using it in like such a small, um, such small increments, it's, you know, it's fine. These are, this is red lentil pasta. I think I'll keep this, yeah. It's not expired yet. Um, it's the Trader Joe's red lentil pasta. I bought this for Daisy before and she loved it. But I think part of my problem is the pastas and stuff I have on the bottom shelf and I think I need to change that up because I don't see it and then I forget that it's there and then um, I forget that she, there's stuff down there that she really likes and like healthier options like lentil pasta. So when I rearrange everything, I'm gonna um, probably move that stuff up. All right, so all the baking stuff, if it's not expired, I'm most likely gonna keep it. So we have like a huge thing of powdered sugar that I'm gonna keep. We have light brown sugar. Obviously, this is not for me to be consuming on keto, but again, when you're like making a recipe or you're bringing something to a potluck or to a family party and you need brown sugar, like I want it in my pantry. I don't want to have to run out and buy it. So if it's not expired, this is expired. This is um, whole, the whole white whole wheat flour from Trader Joe's. This is expired. Let's see, I have another one. This is the, uh, the same and 11, 119. This one's not. So we'll keep this and we'll get rid of this. All right, cornstarch. I have two things of cornstarch. Yeah, I had a feeling. Oh, this one's still good. Um, this one's good. This one's expired. So we'll get rid of that. Um, another thing of baking powder. Ooh, 11, 9, 2018. 
We ain't living in the past, y'all. We're gonna get rid of that. Um, Almond Flour literally just bought this and it was like $8 million, so we will keep it. Um, this is the Himalayan Pink Salt that I just recently bought. We will keep that. Oh, we're making headway here, people. We're getting room over here. Um, huge thing of coconut flour. I recently bought this, so I, yeah, 2020. Um, I, lo I love that it's in like this type of container. I got this at Walmart and I don't think it was that pricey. Um, great for keto. This by September 28, 2019. I'm gonna keep that. This shit, like the Lego thing. This, I have paint, like paint supplies. Those go upstairs. This Lego thing I'm gonna keep, but this one I'm gonna throw away. This like went with something Daisy got for Christmas and it's a total choking hazard, so nope. Um, sugar, I'm gonna keep that. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and do this. This is a, t like, this is a lot of like baking stuff. Like nuts and I think there's some chocolate in here. Let's see if these are still good. These are pecans. Oh, 10, 14, 15, 2015. No, no ma'am, that's embarrassing, bye. Um, these are slivered almonds, don't know the expiration date because they're in a plastic bag, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep those. Then we have some <clears throat> semi-sweet chocolate chips. My guess would be that these are still good. Oh, my guess is right. I was gonna say wrong, but October 2019. So we will keep that. All right, let's, I don't even know what's in here. Oh, we just have some tablecloths from Walmart and some plastic forks. Um, again, I don't know how I'm gonna put all that stuff, but we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out together. Y'all will help me. Um, we have some chia seeds. I'm gonna keep these, but I'll probably put them in like a Ziploc. There's no need for them to be in this big container. Although at one time this container was full. Um, my mom bought these for Cernan, totally keto. I've had the regular flavored ones before, but these are the Duke's Hatch Green Chili um, little sausages and Cernan really, really liked these. I didn't try them, so I don't know if they're super spicy, but um, you can get these at Target, Walmart. They're really, really good. Ton of olives, um, y'all know I love these to snack on. I literally keep one in my car and one in my diaper bag just for emergencies. Um, we have two different beef sticks. This is the Chomps, I'm, I'm over these, but I'm gonna keep it because Cernan likes them. And then, excuse me, this is the one I've been getting at World Market. It's by Country Archer and um, it, this is the turkey stick with rosemary flavoring. Flavoring, that doesn't sound good. With rosemary in it, um, it's, flavoring makes it sound like it's fake. Um, these are so good, they're so good. Um, that's my complaint with the Chomps is that I just feel like they ha it has zero flavor. Um, then I have one of these uh, chocolate chip cookie dough one protein bars. Um, I think I showed these in my last grocery haul and I ate one but Cernan didn't so there was one left. Um, All right, so next we have a bunch of the Slim Fast um, Keto, hello, Slim Fast Keto peanut butter cups. We're gonna keep those. Um, I have a lot of those in here. I have three of the key, these Keto bars left. Is there expiration on here? No, but, oh, Best Buy 9, 2019. Okay, so I have two of the mint chocolate um, bars left, and then one of the dark chocolate coconut almond. This was my least favorite, but Cernan didn't mind it, so I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to all of that. I'm getting rid of this, because I thought these were so disgusting, and this has been in here now for like a couple months. Probably, no, probably like a month. It's the No Cow Chocolate Fudge Brownie Bar. Ugh, I thought these were horrible. Horrible. And then I'm fairly certain, I haven't shown these in a haul, because I think when I got them, I got them like midweek. But these are the Fat Snacks um, Keto Cookies. I have them in the peanut butter flavor and also the lemony lemon um, flavor. And I saw another YouTuber talking about them and she was like raving about them and I really wanted to try them. In my area, area you can only get them at the Vitamin Shop. 
Um, but when I went to go buy them, I like made it out to the vitamin shop. I don't have one like super close to me. Um, I went there, I looked at the ingredients and I realized that there's xanthan gum. Um, I don't know if you guys have watched that haul video where I talk about how I had imitation xanthan gum and it like effed up my stomach. Um, like not to the point where I was on the toilet, just to where I was in so much pain, like actual legit pain in my stomach. Um, so I bought them anyway, because that's me. Um, uh, and I thought, well, this is not imitation xanthan gum. It's real xanthan gum. So I tried half of a cookie and I, I wasn't dying in any way like I was when I had the imitation xanthan gum, but it definitely still affected my stomach. So these are essentially in here for Cernan. I'm gonna keep them because he really likes them. And y'all, even though I only had half of a cookie, they taste, I had the half of the lemon one. They're so good, they're so good. The ingredients are great. It's a fairly short ingredients list. The macros are fabulous. So if you wanna order them online, they are on Amazon or if you have a vitamin shop near you um, or another um, retailer that would carry these, I highly recommend them. The flavor is there. I just can't do the xanthan gum. All right, so that is that little bin of goodies. Um, so let's go ahead and finish up the baking stuff. Ugh, I have all of this crap, y'all. These are just like, I'm gonna give this to my sister. It's cupcake, um, what do you call it? Cup, the paper cupcake cases and then toppers. When I was a nanny, I did a lot of baking for my kids. Um, I would bake stuff, bring it to their house, or I would bring all my, all the baking supplies and we'd bake together. So that's why there's a lot of this like, baking stuff in here, um, but I don't do that anymore. So I'm gonna give that to my sister. Um, next we have molasses. I'm definitely gonna hang on to it because it's not cheap, but I don't see an expiration. Oh, 10, 27, 20. So I'm gonna keep that. Um, candles, I'm gonna keep. This is all just stuff that like I'm not gonna, like oh cupcake holder, things for frosting I'm gonna get rid of. These are just like little Halloween decoration things. Are these still good? I might keep, oh this is just, these are just dyes. I'm gonna keep these. These are like um, to dye icing, so keep that. Um, do sprinkles have an expiration date? I'm gonna keep those. I have these little, these are so cute. They're little silicone, like the silicone cupcake. Um, cupcake holder things. I'm going to keep that. Um, some more icing co colors, more icing dye. This is so cute. My mom, my mom bought this, um, for me. That's like Easter cookie cutters. So that'll be fun. I'm going to keep those for, that'll be fun for Daisy. And then I have these piping bags. I just don't think I need them and it's just taking up space. So I'm getting rid of them. Um, all right. We're almost done friends. Christmas cookie cutters. We will keep these are newer, so I'm gonna keep these. Chocolate chips, more sprinkles. A lot of this stuff was from like doing Christmas baking with Daisy. Unsweetened shredded coconut, we're definitely keeping this. This is good for keto. Four carbs, two fiber. Um, keeping that. My flour sifter, <laughs> made an interesting noise. More like um, cupcake wrappers or muffin wrappers, I'm getting rid of those. Toothpicks we will hang on to. Cookie cutter, we will hang on to. Raw whole cashews, oh these aren't good. 9-21-2018, bye. Um, and then this is just a cute little like cake banner. All right, I'm, I'm gonna keep that. So that's everything minus the spices. So the spices I've been through recently, but I don't feel like it's necessary to go through all of my spices with you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear that out on my own and then um, show y'all what I, what I ended up getting rid of if anything was like expired or bad or whatever. All right, so I just went through all of my spices. This, I'm not gonna go through it one by one, y'all, but this is everything that I'm getting rid of. So not a ton, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a bunch of like Chick-fil-A sauces that are not keto friendly. I did keep my Chick-fil-A um, Zesty Buffalo and the Ranch. Um, and then I just wanted to give a shout out to one of my favorite seasonings. This is the Weber um, New Orleans. Cajun seasoning, I love this stuff. It is spicy, it's zero carbs. I love it on everything. Salmon, beef, chicken, um, it's one of my favorites and I got it at Walmart. Um, all right friends, 
Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to put in my organizers and then start putting everything back. Um, and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm, I feel like it's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of shuffling because I haven't decided exactly where I want everything to go, but um, I'm gonna get it all in and set up and then show you guys the finished, the finished look. Hey friends, are we ready? All right, friends, are we ready for the big reveal? Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. All right, so let me take you through my thought process. Oh my gosh, it looks like very bare. Um, I feel like I almost didn't even need the um, organizers because I cleared out so much stuff, but um, I think having them in place right now is a good idea because as I buy more stuff, I am gonna need the room. So let's just go ahead and run through everything. So up top, I have all of the baking stuff, most of the baking stuff that I will not be needing frequently, um, essentially is how I did it. So, you know, the regular flour, the molasses, all of like the baking, like supplies and things like that. That's all on the top. Then next down we have um, condiments. Um, condiments, I threw the pink over there, dressing, all that stuff. Then we have um, our keto snacks, and then this is all Daisy stuff right here. Then next down we have all of our spices and then the keto baking products. So the Swerve, the Stevia, all the, the almond flour, the coconut flour, the different salts. And then on the bottom, I just put those napkins and cups and forks and all that jazz. And then I cleaned up um, like all the dog stuff and I kind of wiped down the floor and, and and did that. So I am super, oh my God. I feel like every time I clean out something, freezer, my own, like my actual clothing closet, pantry, it just feels so good. Um, let me show y'all what I was left with out of the organizer. So I still have these three things. This is like a smaller, um, smaller little one. This is another like, uh, you know, under the, under the shelf one. I really like these ones. Um, and then this one is one that like you can put on the wall. Um, they have in the, in the picture, they show like glasses being stored in it, um, like wine glasses, but you could totally keep bags of, you know, chips for us. I would put like our quest chips in here or, um, other snack items that wouldn't like fall through the bottom grate. Um, but this was a fabulous set that I got at Walmart and it was 16, I think it was like 1695 and came with six, what, one, two, three, four, six pieces. So if you're looking to organize, especially if you're looking to just make more room, I highly suggest um, picking this up. All right, friends, so that's it. My pantry is clean and purdy. That took an hour and 20 minutes. So that took that took a while, definitely a lot longer than the freezer, um, but it also needed a lot more work. So I'm pumped that that is cleaned out. Um, again, this series is gonna be continuing. I think I am, I wasn't gonna clean out my fridge. Um, I think I am gonna do it. It'll definitely be a shorter video because there's not much to go through. Um, but I think I am gonna do that and then I'm gonna go through all of my cabinets. So, um, you know, that will definitely be more of a kitchen clean out than a keto related clean out, but um, I am gonna be doing that at some point. So if you like these videos, organization type videos, kitchen cleaning videos, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, as always. And um, yeah, I will go ahead and catch you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye, friends.